Shanghai imposed a citywide lockdown on its 26 million residents on April 1st to combat the spread of COVID-19, imposing harsh measures that caused widespread public anger. I was in Shanghai reporting on the lockdown when residents lived through those two months of anger, frustration and despair. Many didn't think such chaos could happen in Shanghai, China's most advanced city. In this week's CNA Correspondent, we document the lockdown that scarred a generation.上海市公安局周三发布警情通报称我也看到网上有人建议说咱们也就下定决心封上三五天than usual. Uh, authorities said people will not be allowed to step out of their doors, including into open-air balconies or to basement car parks of their compounds. And delivery workers will also be stuck at home. So it will be difficult to get food. And that's top of people's priorities right now. <laughs> You can hear the noise level at this market. This is not normal on a weekday morning. Locals tell me that the crowd level here is several times more than usual. You can see the pandemic prevention personnel making their rounds in this market and some shop owners even fully dressed in hazmat suits. This river is now splitting the city in half. People on the east side under lockdown from 5 a.m. Monday morning and people on the west side, myself included, under lockdown from April 1st. Shanghai really doesn't feel like the city it used to be. Take a look at the roads. Not a single car in sight as public transport and ride-hailing services are suspended during the lockdown. Fun 
隔离到家里，我们跑跑单还是怎么跑呀？那其他的那那些人不然在家不然会不会饿死？我们住的要重新找住的地方，不知道住到哪，不知道住到哪里。就是说不能住在家里。对，不能住在家里。那你们要怎么住呢？嗯、呃，住宾馆啊，几个人开一间房间啊，什么什么呀。所以，呃，如果要继续工作，就要住宾馆。Shanghai is the economic center of China. It's home to Tesla's Gigafactory, to production centers owned by SMIC, China's largest chipmaker, as well as the busiest container ports in the world. Uh, and so, uh, and authorities know that a medical expert on the pandemic prevention task force said on Saturday that if Shanghai comes to a halt, there will be lots of international cargo ships floating around the East China Sea. But clearly, this is their last resort now. The last. The measures over the last few weeks had not been enough to stamp out the outbreak as Shanghai overtakes the northeastern province of Jilin to become the latest uh, pandemic hotspot in the country. I wish I can just pan the camera to the left right now to show you where I am, but I'm actually surrounded by two police officers just watching our every move, making sure we don't we don't show those compounds in lockdown. And these lockdowns, they come fast and furious. I spoke to a resident earlier who told me that he got only a 10-minute heads up before his building was sealed. So this comes as a shocking to me because we weren't that prepared. Um, fundamentally, it's because um, our groceries are not fully stocked up yet. We actually tried um, ordering for deliveries and like fresh milk orders are actually out of stock um, throughout all this period. <laughs> Thank 然后第二天再去去送送东西，然后天天吃方便面什么的。其实他们的日子非常苦。This morning, there was a loudspeaker blasting right outside my apartment, calling people to go downstairs to be swab tested. And it came with a warning, skip the test and your QR health code will turn yellow. And that would severely restrict your movement for the next few weeks. Now we're on day seven of this staggered citywide lockdown. Many people in West Shanghai were expecting to be released from lockdown by 3 a.m. tomorrow. And so most of them have only prepared enough food to last till today or tomorrow. And there is now anxiety all around over whether we can get enough sustenance over the next few days and weeks, given that it's more than likely that most of Shanghai will remain in lockdown for the next 10 days or so. So after my dinner later, uh, tomorrow it's going to be a bit worrying. We're only eating white rice, but it's still food. I heard about the Chiang Chai thing, which people are doing in the wee hours of the morning. So I tried doing that also to no avail for two days really successively. I woke up at like five, ten minutes before the um, 6 a.m. when it starts, right? So then like you can see the whole system clocked up because like as you try to check out and buy the, the groceries online, it's like it keeps saying that it's busy, like there, there are too many people accessing the app. The 
lockdown was unprecedented in human history. At this scale, at this level, at this day and age, many people in Shanghai were accustomed to living at the upper portions of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? These are people for, for the, who, for the most part, probably never truly experienced food or water insecurity in their lives, but for the first time experienced true food insecurity. There has been uh, reportedly 27 deaths at one elder care hospital, but they were not reflected in the death toll because uh, their deaths were attributed to uh, other underlying health conditions. Now, there has also been growing reports of deaths from delayed treatment, either because people couldn't get their exit permit to leave their compounds in time, or they couldn't get treatment in time because their uh, swab test results were not out, or they couldn't get to the hospital in time because there isn't enough ambulances.那时候已经精神已经处于非常崩溃状态，因为已经好几天没有睡过了。然后也不洗头，也不洗脸，就像样子，很颓废的，就是这么一个状态。我断药到我最后收到那部分药的时候，起码有将近半个月的时间。那时
I'm very shocked to know that the COVID policies entails breaching uh, fire safety uh, common sense. <laughs> so, so, I mean, when, when we saw the 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 wire mesh being set up, I think everyone was practically calling everyone that they know, like the the GF, the GUA, fire department, police. But um, I, I think we didn't get an answer. You're seeing the rapidly increase of the cost, but you know, in light of the high transmissibility of the virus, right, the, the, it's becoming more difficult right, to cope with the transmission. So you are facing this you know, significant diminishing returns problem. So even right, uh, you know, in, the, in terms of the cost benefit analysis, I think uh, uh, this strategy you know, uh, is problematic. Many companies um, do not have dormitories in their factories, so they um, they try to get kind of beds in or, or mats where, where staff could um, sleep in. And also, it's now the fourth week for many companies, so staff is really getting tired. They, they want to um, get home to look after their families, but uh, that's very challenging because um, either they cannot go out but also new, um, new staff cannot enter the factories. Uh, so it's a very, very stressful situation. But the port remains still open. There were no trucks to get the products out of the port or new products into the port. That's why so many vessels uh, had to wait in front of the port because there were no warehouses left. Very challenging.其实离我们开业倒计时也就是二十天左右深圳上海市东方南院然后那个时候帐篷里面都已经特别特别热了
抛下我在上海的一切东西，我就无论如何，我一定要离开，我一定要去呃，回到我可以自由生活的地方。这个信任的缺失是很受打击的。其实第一个就是咖啡，所以这个愿望达到了，也不错，好的开头嘛。你盼了这么长时间，反正出来心情无比激动的，感觉比过年还要激动。我一直想象的是一个逐渐解封的过程，但像这样，呃，三十一号发六一解封的通知，然后现在人流一下就大了起来，其实是超乎我的想象的。There are these making queues at testing booths across the city because without a COVID test, it's nearly impossible to do anything meaningful in Shanghai right now. I suddenly realized that I may have to go to the hospital. So quickly, I had to go back and do it again because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to go home. 